Okay, so question number nine just asks, what is a Lewis acid? So we have a Lewis acid. Which is an electron pair acceptor. And let's let's compare this with a Lewis base. Which as you can guess is the opposite of a Lewis acid. And it is an electron pair donor. Now let's have an example for the two. In the case of a Lewis acid, uh, an example of this would be like H and H3. So this ammonia ion has a lone pair that is capable of donating its electrons. So therefore, this is a Lewis acid. And an example of a Lewis base. Oh, sorry, I got the two. Mixed up. That makes sense, sorry. So the Lewis base is the NH3 because it can donate electron pairs through its lone pair. So NH3, I got the two mixed up in my notes as well. The lone pair that can donate electrons. Put this in a box. But the Lewis acid, on the other hand, since it accepts electrons, an example of one is boron trichloride. And this molecule has an empty orbital. Well, boron has an empty orbital. Therefore, this is a Lewis acid. Okay, so sorry about that fusion. But we can also compare this with Bronsted acids and bases. So if you're wondering why these ones have a different name, Bronsted. So a Bronsted acid is defined as a proton donor. And a Bronsted base is a proton acceptor. So the reason why uh, you can have a Lewis acid that isn't a Bronsted acid is because sometimes it doesn't have a hydrogen to donate. Like in the case of boron trichloride, there are no hydrogens, so this can't be a Bronsted acid since Bronsted acids are uh, proton donors. So an example would be like HCl or even water. 
and an example of a Bronsted base, you could also have an H3, which can accept another proton and become an H4+. And even water, again, can act as both a Bronsted acid and a Bronsted base. So the junior tutor said that, by definition, a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor, while a Lewis base is an electron pair donor. For example, let us consider the reaction below. We have mercury 2 plus, plus 4 cyanide ions, makes mercury cyanide. And from the given reaction, mercury 2 plus is positively charged, thus it must likely, it most likely, it is most likely to accept electrons rather than lose electrons. In this case, the mercury acts as Lewis acid. Okay, so this solution is correct.